Hi everyone! So today we're going to be taking a look at Potter's Pink made with PR233. Um, I have three brands to be comparing today, so let's get on with it. Here we go. All of these haven't been pre-wetted. First up is Windsor & Newton. So that's how soft it is if you brush it only a few times. It's quite a low tinting color. But I find that it's like a soft pink that granulates beautifully. I'll see if I could on some pigment there. You can already see the granulation happening right there. Next up is Schminke. I would say Windsor & Newton's just now rewets well because it's quite a low tinting color. It's not that it rewets difficult. It rewets just fine just like any other paint. It's just a low tinting color so it makes you feel like it might rewet harder than other colors. But I wouldn't consider that hard at all. Here is Schminke, also a few swipes, same thing like Windsor and Newton. The hue, I'd say Schminke's and Windsor and Newton looks pretty much the same in terms of hue and as well as intensity and how dark it is. The granulation is pretty rocky. Quite beautiful, actually. Hmm, I seem to like Schmincke's more because it, it tends to, it feels like it granulates more. Um, I don't know, the particles seem to be larger in comparison to Windsor and Newton's. Lastly, we have Roman Small. And this one here is my Roman Small palette, guys. I have my collection of Roman Small colors. Um, how do I show you? So these are all my Roman Small colors, um, with the, the exception of a few here, just because, you know, see, I have a lot of earth colors, but it doesn't make a good versatile palette so I added some primary colors so whenever I want to use this palette I could at least have you know some colors to use okay back to Potter's Pink so I haven't re-wetted this either few swipes low tinting as you can see Now, right away, I kind of feel like this has like a bit of white in it compared to these two, okay? Yes, it looks more rosy, but I have a feeling that if I added white to this, it would look like Roman Smalls. So does that mean, does that mean that Roman Smalls might have like an opaque filler in it? Huh. Okay, right after this, I'm going to, I'm going to try to add some white to the other two or at least one of them to see if it'll give the same effect. Cuz if you watch everyone else's reviews about Roman Smalls Potter's Pink, 
they would always say it's more rosy, it's more pinky, and I, I definitely agree with that. The reason I like Roman Smalls is because it, it looks more like a pink, like a soft baby pink. Let's see if I could, nope, okay. Yeah, whereas these two feel like, um, you know those those other granulating colors like Aquarius Brown, um, Lunar Lunar Earth was it PBR eleven or uh, Lunar Black Oxide Black PBK eleven, where it's like black. It's the color and it granulates. But Roman Smalls has this like powdery, soft powdery feel to it, like a pastel pink. So if these, if I were to call these two granulating pinks. Roman Small would be the pastel pink of that, that granulates. Mm, it doesn't seem like it's showing up on the camera very well, so I'll wait for these to dry and then we'll look at some close-ups later. And while that's drying, I'm going to add some white to these. Alright, while this is drying, I'm going to see if I could do some okay, so this this is the same paper as from the sketchbook okay I just cut it out from uh, my previous sketchbook uh, let's see Windsor and Newton and Schmincke Roman small Windsor and Newton Schmincke Roman small plus white, plus white. Okay, let's try this. I have a white here. What is this by? This is Royal Talons. Oh, Van Gogh white. Just gonna clean that off first. Okay. And now, um, I'll go with Schmincke first. Or no, since we're gonna compare it with Roman Smalls. Roman Small. So that's Roman Small, and then we're gonna try a bit of Schmincke. How should I do this? Um, how about I'll, I'll just mix, mix some white onto there, and then pick up some of this. Oh, I think that's working. Yes, you guys! We have discovered something together. That's it right there. That's it. That's exactly the feeling I have with Roman Small. Okay, so... You know what, let's do Windsor and Newton's first for good measure. Actually, that's a bit too... too much white. Um, I feel like it's really not showing well on the camera, the differences. So I'm sorry about that, but yeah, right now as I've put, as I've mixed um, Schmincke with the white, it definitely gave me the same feeling I had when I was swatching out Roman Small's Potter's Pink earlier in comparison to the other two. Okay, so where's my Windsor and Newton? Some white. That's it, you guys. Okay, so, oops. Oh, my elbow hurts. <laughs> there we go. So now in comparison, 
I feel like Roman Smalls is almost feels more like as if uh, as if it was the one without the white. So I think I'd conclude that Okay, this hasn't dried completely yet, so I'll come back to those. But as I was swatching these from Windsor and Newton to Schmincke, I would say these two are practically the same hue, the same intensity. Um, if you switched these two up, I wouldn't be able to tell which one is from which brand. Um, but when I swatched out Roman Smalls right next to these two, it definitely feel more milky. Um, if those of you who do have Roman Smalls Potter's Pink, please comment down below if that's how you feel. Um, yeah, it, it definitely felt more milky as if uh, it had a white in it. And after adding white to these two, I feel like Roman Smalls isn't that bad where it doesn't feel like this and as in these two mixed with white feels much more opaque than Roman Small's version. So that means Roman Small's version might have an opaque filler, maybe, that made it more milky looking or less, um, less, seems like less pigmented and feels more like it has some mixed white in it, if that makes sense. Hope that makes sense, guys. Okay, so gonna let this completely dry and come back to it all right i'm back the swatches have completely dried this one has dried as well so um i hopefully you could see that okay on the screen right now i'm seeing that this one is definitely definitely um more more of a softer pink compared to these where these look rather brown on camera but it's really not like brown at all it's more of a soft pink a, a pink brown if you will I'd say Windsor and Newton's and Schmincke's is almost exactly the same. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two, but Roman Smalls, as you can see, it's just the slightest softer. And in terms of granulation, I'd say Schmincke's granulates the most and followed by Windsor and Newton's and then Roman Smalls also granulates but it's more of a soft granulation so if you've seen my other comparison videos I feel like Roman Smalls granulates uh, Roman Smalls range overall granulates well but the particle sizes or the particle um I don't know, the, the physical particle seems to be softer, more rounded, instead of like these rocky, rockiness. So if I were to draw out the particle, where others are like rocky, jagged particles, Roman small seems to be more like rounded particles, if that makes sense. Okay, and here, I have the ones where I added white into it. Um, yeah, I'm definitely thinking, although they don't compare like exactly very well, but I think we discovered something here that Roman Smalls, the milkiness and the softer, uh, the softer hue makes it feel more pastel-y in comparison to these are the two brands. So I think if you already have Windsor & Newton and Schmincke's and you want to try Roman Smalls to understand what people mean by that it's pinker, it's lighter, it's more rosy, 
then try adding a bit of white like how I did here with these two and you're gonna be able to see and and observe that milky pastelli nest uh, pastelli nest with uh, with the potter's pink and if you think you prefer that over your normal potter's pink already then go ahead and try roman smalls but personally i i started with roman small and i feel like i really do like the rosiness it it gives off however for mixes i do prefer um windsor and newton and schminkes because um uh, it's it's a light color and in mixes when, when mixed with other colors other colors seem to just wash this out um so with with mixes roman smalls doesn't do that well but windsor and newton and schminkes once you mix it the granulation does show up pretty well and i think that's all i have to say for today and if you'd like to see the scans of these, then just keep watching. But other than that, thank you for watching. Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated, everyone. Bye, guys! All right, I'm back. Oh no, that was my stomach. Oh, so embarrassing.